Hi guys, it's JJ and this is Travel Tuesdays with Today with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we're going to one of my favorite places on the entire planet and that is Paris, France. Paris's seductive charms are legendary and for good reason. Paris has inviting sidewalk cafes, sparkling boutiques, world-class museums, and an impressive restaurant scene. These are some of the endless things to do that make Paris the runway model of cities. Paris is beautiful, fashionable, confident, and inspiring at every turn. This is the type of city that you will want to visit again. While I was there, every day exploring Paris got better and better. And this bucket list contains 10 of the best experiences that you can have while visiting Paris, France. And as I state in all of my videos, please check the entry requirements prior to entering France. Now let's jump right in to the 10 amazing things to do in Paris, France. Number one on the list is the iconic Eiffel Tower. What would Paris be without the symbolic Eiffel Tower? Built by Gustave Eiffel to commemorate the centenary of the French Revolution, it was presented at the Exposition Universelle in Paris in 1889. Over a thousand feet high, it is one of the most visited monuments in the world. The first floor houses the Eiffel Tower 58, that it is 58 meters above the ground. On the second floor, the view is the best. At 115 meters, you have a beautiful view of the ground below. Finally, on the third floor, you can see what the office of Gustave Eiffel was. If you're more adventurous, it is possible to use the stairs and climb the steps. There are 1,665 stairs to the summit. And to be honest, it's not as daunting as it sounds. I climbed the first floor and I was absolutely fine. And then I was able to take a lift up to the top. Number two on the list is the Louvre. If you only had time to visit one museum in Paris, it should be undoubtedly the Louvre. That is because the Louvre is not only widely considered to be one of the best art museums in Europe, but one of the best art museums in the world as well. The museum first opened its doors in 1793 and features a grand total of 35,000 works of art. Here you can get an up close look at art from different time periods and cultures. The Louvre is divided into eight departments, Egyptian antiques, Oriental antiques, Greek and Roman, Islamic arts, sculptures of the Middle Ages, Renaissance and modern times, objects of art, paintings, and graphic arts. And so you can plan your trip accordingly. The Louvre is closed on Tuesdays. Number three on the list is Arc de Triomphe. Situated at the western end of the Champs-Élysées, the towering Arc de Triomphe was commissioned by Napoleon to honor the Grand Army during the Napoleonic Wars. The Arc, which is the largest of its kind, is adorned with several impressive, intricately carved sculptures. Underneath, you'll find the names of the battles fought during the First French Republic and Napoleon's Empire, as well as generals who fought in them. You'll also find the famous tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. The Unknown Soldier currently buried there is meant to represent all the unidentified or unaccounted for soldiers who lost their lives during World War I. The flame that was lit has not extinguished since it was initially lit in the 1920s and is rekindled every night at 6.30 p.m. by a member of the armed services. Number four on the list is Versailles Palace or Chateau de Versailles. The Chateau de Versailles is a sprawling palace and former seat of power. 
It's located 14 miles southwest of Paris in Versailles. Between all of the gold figurines and cascading crystals, you might be surprised to learn that King Louis XV, extravagant former resident, had a pretty humblish beginnings. Number five on the list is Musée Rodin. A hidden jewel in the city, the Musée Rodin is actually the former residence of a famed 19th century sculptor, Auguste Rodin. But in the palace of furniture and kitschy lawn ornaments are Rodin's emotive sculptures, including the Hand of God, the Kiss and the Thinker, among many more. In addition to the sculptures, there are 7,000 of the artist's drawings on display as well as an area dedicated to the work of his muse and mistress, artist Camille Claudel. You'll get to view pieces from Rudine's personal art collection, including paintings by Van Gogh. Number six on the list is the Champs-Élysées. There's everything that you could want along the boulevard of Champs-Élysées. The Champs-Élysées is the most famous avenue in all of Paris. Stretching more than a mile long from the glittering Place de la Concorde to the foot of Arc de Triomphe. It's a shopper's mecca. There are so many luxury boutiques like Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Guerlain, just to name a few, that rubs elbows with some of the less pricey establishments like H&M and Adidas. Number seven on the list is Seine River. You won't have much trouble finding the Seine River as it flows directly through the heart of Paris. The river is perhaps one of the most famous waterways in the world, which is an ongoing theme in Paris. <laughs> and it's an attraction in itself. It's also useful for more practical reasons. It flows from east to west, dividing the city into the left bank and the right bank. Knowing where you are in relation to the Seine River can help you find your way around during your trip. Number eight on the list is the Luxembourg Gardens. A warm weather oasis that offers the simplest of pleasures, the Luxembourg Gardens provide ample green space for sun soaking and people watching. Plus, there are plenty of activities to keep your kids entertained. When the city bustle becomes too overwhelming, meander over to the paths and formal gardens or just to relax with a picnic. Kids can float sailboats at the Grand Basin, ride ponies, or take a spin on the merry-go-round, or catch a puppet show at the on-site theater des marionettes. Though with 106 sculptures to its name, including a replica of the Statue of Liberty, the Luxembourg Gardens could easily be considered an open-air museum itself. Number nine on the list is the Moulin Rouge. If you're looking for the quintessential Parisian nightlife experience, the Moulin Rouge will likely fit the bill. The legendary cabaret club opened in 1889, wowing crowds with dazzling dancers, free-flowing champagne, and outrageous elements like a gigantic model elephant in the garden. With its rich history and extravagant performances, Moulin Rouge has become an important staple of the City of Lights. Number 10 on the list is the Pantheon. Situated in the Latin Quarter of Paris is a large church and burial ground. The structure was completed in 1789 at the start of the French Revolution, and it served as a mausoleum, a church, and an art gallery throughout its early years. In 1851, scientists installed Foucault pendulum within the building to demonstrate the rotation of the earth. The pendulum was removed and replaced a number of times, and a replica was installed in 1995 and is still in operation today. 
Yay! You've made it to the end of the video. If this video added any value to your upcoming trip or you just love traveling with me every week and you haven't subscribed, please become a part of the family and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Commenting places that I didn't list helps more than you know. And last but not least, I wanna leave you with some pro tips. And one of my pro tips is the best time to visit Paris. The best time to visit is from June to August and September to October. From June to August, the weather in Paris is perfect. It's around the highs of 70 degrees and long days of sunshine. Now, because June and August are the summertime, it is a lot higher as far as crowds and it's a little bit more expensive. September to October, especially the end of September, early October is when New York Fashion Week kicks off. So if you want to see free fashion shows all over the streets, that's a great time to visit. But keep in mind, no matter when you go to Paris, since it is one of the most visited cities in the entire world, you'll find crowds. <laughs> so I want to wish you a very safe and very fun trip to Paris. And until next week, bye.